Hello YouTube, this is Crosscheck and welcome to another very exciting update from the Microsoft Flight Simulator team. The new feature discovery series Cockpits is now out, you can check the 6 minute video in the link on the description below. I will start this video by doing a quick rundown of this new episode, adding some commentary and then we'll be moving on into other exciting news. The new episode attempts to explore what goes on while seated in the virtual cockpit. It starts by talking about good old-fashioned analog instrumentation. The models are being modeled with extreme attention to detail and are scripted to behave exactly as expected to in real life. To accomplish this, new simulated data has been introduced. They show us this example of the Robin DR400, where a complete management of the electrical system has been done. The needles of the battery instruments will react accordingly to the stress caused by all electrical devices. The management of pressure has also been reworked, now being affected by temperatures. Also, as VFR flying is now also possible during nighttime, the lighting system on the aircraft needs to be excellent. Every single light can be set and dimmed as desired this perfectly simulating the actual aircraft. Modern aircraft, on the other hand, are equipped with high-tech glass cockpits. Because of this, a completely new engine has to be created for the engagement and rendering of said glass cockpits. The data will be displayed in 2D or in 3D synthetic vision. Touchscreens are now simulated and fully interactive. The new system is now able to provide new levels of environmental awareness. Seats and stars are now available from the get-go. Super, super exciting, but moving on, the team understands the complexity in understanding the consequences of each action inside the cockpit. Contextual cursors and tooltips will now be available to address this, making the experience much more intuitive. They are also introducing a new checklist system. The system will allow the users to select its complexity. This can range from manual all the way to fully automatic. If so desired, the sequences can be skipped and the aircraft will be in the state it should be after the completion of the skipped sequence. This new system will highlight instruments to visually show where your interaction is required. The checklist is directly linked to the simulation, so it provides feedback of each sequence completion. Thanks to these new systems, you will be able to fly any aircraft for the first time from cold and dark with zero issues. Now regarding peripherals, a complex calibration and setup tool will now be available for all inputs, so we will no longer require external tools for this. Great news for cockpit builders, all of your hardware will work with the new system. An extended number of simulation variables are exposed for you to be able to represent those variables in your homemade cockpit as you so desire. And yes, multi-screens and windows are supported. The Acebo team actually built a replica cockpit of the DR400, the aircraft that they are actually flying in real life as well. This is helping them test the quality of the simulation but also the quality of the inputs. New technologies are also coming our way with the sole purpose of improving immersion. We got a new PVR deferred rendering engine, a technique present in new video games that finally is making its way into our simulator. Screen space pixel ambient occlusion and irradiance, screen space reflections, screen space shadows and cascaded shadow maps, and 4K PVR materials. Moving on, the lighting in the carpet will be represented realistically thanks to the impressive weather technology and the realistic position of the sun. Yes, this means that under certain scenarios, readability of certain instruments can be close to impossible, just like in the real world. Hooray! Most modern techniques are now being utilized for creating references ending in the creation of these amazing cockpits. They are also going as far as jumping into the real cockpits to get as much data as possible to guarantee a realistic cockpit. Now let's talk about the sound, obviously a extremely important part of the simulation. A completely new scripting system has been introduced just for this. This new system is based on WISE. The system ties the simulation data to the sound banks and modulates the sound to make it match the aircraft parameters. All of the sounds in the cockpit are being recorded in high fidelity. Now speaking a little bit about the camera, a new dynamic camera is also being implemented. This camera reacts accordingly to every single force being applied in the aircraft as it translates into the pilot's head. A lot of you know this as the famous head shake, but it seems this time around it is a little bit more complex. This head shake allows the user to better understand how the aircraft behaves. 
by basically feeling the consequences of every single action you make or the way the weather is treating your aircraft. This is also a perfect way to be able to feel and be aware of when the aircraft is reaching its very limits. In summary, we are getting cool analog and glass cockpits, touchscreens, interactive checklists, awesome lighting, awesome audio, awesome head shake. Sounds pretty darn cool. I would have loved to see something regarding the FMS of a commercial aircraft and also uh, a little bit more information on commercial aircraft cockpits. I think that is really, really interesting. Uh, kind of sad we didn't get to see any of that. But hey, we can't have it all just yet, right? One of the little things from this video that really got me excited was knowing that the SIDS and the STARS these are the instrumental departures and arrivals being available in the default aircraft from the start. What a joy. Anyway, let's keep moving into other very exciting news for today. And I lied. There are no exciting news today. Yay. The Microsoft Flight Simulator team knows perfectly well how excited I am to see the feedback snapshot and they have decided once again to hurt my feelings by delaying this feedback snapshot again. Now, joking aside, to be fair with them, when they show more cool stuff in events such as the second trailer in the X019 event and with these deliverables such as the episodes in the Discovery series, a lot of more discussion happens and they seem to find new topics being discussed that were maybe not considered a high priority and now the discussions kind of shifted everything around. I am sure I am not being helpful by now and then discussing just random stuff. Stuff that I find laying around in the interwebs. And then going around and talking about things I want to see in my simulator. Uh, I do apologize to the team if I have been a source of great headaches. Which I, I, I may have been. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, we should no longer expect the feedback snapshot before the mid of December. Ay 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 ay. But yep. That is what it is. Anyway, do make sure to stick around as there will be a new update coming our way in a week, the 5th of December, and also a couple of very interesting videos you should check out. Want to thank my patrons for the support? Appreciate it immensely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, thank you for sticking around. Do share with me your thoughts in the comments below. I love hearing what you have to say and I try to reply to all of you. I, I really enjoy it. Anyway, happy flying, cross checkout.